Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Ayun, nag-hatching. <laughs> At ngayon po ay pag-usapan po natin yung mga paraan paano po mapadami ang inyong breast milk supply. Dahil po marami po sa mga nanay ang nag-worry dahil pagbabalik na po sila sa work, pwedeng uh, hindi na po nila tuloy-tuloy na papapreastfeed ang kanilang mga babies. So, didiscuss ko po sa inyo kung paano po yung mga techniques para dumami ang inyong breast milk supply at kung paano na rin po tayo mag introduce o magbibigay po ng pagkain po sa mga babies na 6 months old pataas. Yung pong kanilang um, complementary feeding. Okay, may commercial break po tayo. So, so, mamaya ay um, i-discuss po natin yan. So, first, ang teknik kung paano po padamin ang inyong gatas. So, let's see. Relax po ang environment. Um, sa iba, mas nakakakolekta po sila sa during the morning. Sa iba naman po, mas marami pong nakokolekt sa gabi. So, importante pa rin po na kung kayo po ay magkokolekt ng milk, kahit ano pan ang gamit ninyong breast pump, ay dapat po relax po ang inyong environment. Okay? So, and, magkakaroon po yan ng um, pumping routine. Okay? Sa so, halimbawa, nasa work kayo, mag-express kayo, o mag, um, mag-find time kayo na um, mag-breast pump with um, 2 to 3 hours yung interval po. Yun po yung time kasi kung kailan uh, nag-feed ang bata. Halimbawa, uh, aalis kayo sa bahay ng 7 a.m. So, pag nasa work, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 a.m. yun na yung start na, na mag-pop kayo. Then, after th 2 to 3 hours ulit, uh, 10, 11, 12, 1, 1 p.m., 2, 3, 4. So, yun na po yung, yun yung pumping routine. 10, 1, and 4 p.m. Okay? So, yan po ay para po mapanatili po yung dami po ng gatas. Kasi kung kayo po ay hindi na po uh, madalas nagpapabreastfeed kasi nasa work at hindi rin po kayo nagpapabreast pump, hindi nyo po na express yung inyong milk, ay magkakaroon po ng tendency na mababaw, uh, mababawasan and eventually mawawala po inyong breast milk. So, importante po na para masigurado po na tuloy-tuloy yung inyong milk flow, milk production, kailangan po na magkaroon po kayo ng schedule ng pag-express ng inyong gatas. Okay? Pwede kayong gumamit ng breast pump o sa iba yung manual uh, breast milk expression which is napakahirap. For us, yung moms on the go, ready ready at ang ating breast pump. Ko, hinahati ko. Yung iba, dinodonate ko sa Nico. Yung iba, sa aking baby. ba? Para hating kapatid. So, um, kasi the more na nagbibigay ka sa ibang bata para may milk sila, the more na dadami yung iyong breast milk. As in... <laughs> is it's a supply and demand process. So the more na nagpapa-breastfeed ka, the more na, in uh, na nag-express ka, nag-iipon ka ng gatas mo, the more na magpo-produce o maglalabas yung katawan mo ng gatas. So it's a good thing talaga pag nag-donate tayo sa ibang tao. Okay? Hi, I'm Florence, nurse and health education and promotion officer. If your baby loves carrot puree one day, but pushes it away the next, 
or if you find yourself begging your little one to eat, you are not alone. This video is just for you. Between 20 to 50% of kids are described by their parents as picky eaters. Why do babies turn into picky eaters? What are the signs and what can you do about it? The symptoms of a picky eater can seem pretty obvious. Your baby may push away the spoon or turn his head away from it. She might close her mouth as you try feeding her, spit out the food, or become cranky or tired at mealtime. Here are some of my tips to help tame a picky eater. First, never force feed. If your little one turns her head from the spoon, she's telling you clearly she's had enough. Even if it seems she's had very little, trust that your child will eat what she needs. If you force baby to eat despite this science, your little one may start associating eating with tension and discomfort and become even more fussy. Try different textures. Even babies have food preferences. Some enjoy wet foods, while others may prefer finger foods. Some may want to graze through a half dozen mini meals, while others may favor liquids over solids for a time. Make sure that you do not feed your child junk in order to get him to eat. Offer healthy options and help develop a taste for them. Transform the tempo. Some babies want to eat fast, others slow. Could you be frustrating your little one with the wrong feeding tempo? There's only one way to find out. Try slowing down the next feeding or picking up the pace. Minimize distractions. Make the food the focus of mealtime. Turn off the TV, remove toys and books, and help your little one focus on one thing, eating. Keep meal length reasonable. It's tempting to let a picky eater take as long as she wants to eat. Although you shouldn't rush mealtime, don't let it go on much longer than 20 to 30 minutes. Let baby touch his food. You probably eat a food you've never seen before without first looking it over. Your baby is the same, so let your little one touch a new food before you offer it. Follow your baby's timeline. Most babies began eating solid foods between four and six months, but some may start a little earlier, others later. As with crawling, walking, potty training, and just about every other infant milestone, there's no perfect time. There's your baby's time. Let your baby participate. By about nine months, many babies are interested in trying to feed themselves. Although your picky eater is likely to make a mess waving around the mealtime, spoon letting him take control is important to a child's growth and development. It's natural for babies to slow down their feedings as they reach the end of their first year. Babies' growth tends to slow, so too can their calorie needs. Be patient. Growth spurts are on the way. Keep trying gently. Some babies may need to try a food 8, 10, and even 15 times before they enjoy it. So be patient and continue to revisit rejected food over time. As long as there are no allergy concerns, don't let on that you're frustrated or angry. React emotionally to a picky eater and even a one-year-old will understand her power over you. Realize that you want your baby to eat for her own well-being not to please you and that baby rejection of a food is not a rejection of you. Understand who's responsible for what. It's your job to feed your baby, but it's your baby's responsibility to decide what and how much to eat. Children will always eat when they're hungry, as long as a child is growing and gaining weight, and you are feeding him healthy. There's a little need to worry about a baby's who's a picky eater. Ano ba ninyo pre-prepare yung food ng bata ate? Pag nagpre-prepare ako ng pagkain ng bata, kailangan unang gawin, maghugas ng kamay, maghugas ng mabuti para matanggal yung ano, bago tayo mag-prepare. Okay, para... tapos yung mga ginagamit yung... Ayan, dapat malinis. Oo, oh, dapat malinis ito. Yung iba sa mabuti, tapos dito nilalagay yung pagkain ng bata. Tapos, iba kasi yung, ano eh, yung shopping board para sa mga prutas, gulay, at saka sa karne. Oh, mahirap ng masalmonella, poisoning. Kaya, separate yung para sa 
uh, mga prutas, gulay, tapos sa kanin. So, yan. So, ito, mga, ito yung mga halimbawa lang sa mga food na vegetables na pwede nating grate or imash. Yan, no? Yeah. May, may squash pa ba sa rest? Wala na. Wala na. Naubos na niya. <laughs> okay? So, yung mga fruits na kagaya, uh, vegetables na kagaya nito, i-binoboil. Okay, no? Binoboil. Tapos, tapos minamash. Ang consistency ng pagkain ng bata, eh, matagal na masyadong pinong-pino. Ayun, yung bata tuloy, yung pag niya, yung habit niya na mag-chew, hindi tuloy ma-de-develop yun. Yung early introduction na yung tre trend ngayon, na para ma-stimulate ma ma yung appetite, kaya magustuhan ng bata yung food. Ha? So, kung as long as safe, yung mga ino-offer na food sa kanya, wag yung mga honey, wag yung mga uh, pagkain na pwede siyang machoke. Kasi umpisa yan, wala pang teeth. O, hindi pa rin sila skilled sa pagbayit. O, so, pwede rin mga, mga food na choking hazards, ba, mga bawal mga yun. Ay, papaano? <laughs> Ang nanay, dapat maging conscious din siya sa mga uh, kinakain niya. Kasi meron, meron tendency, although very, very uh, rare lang, na mayroong mapapas sa milk niya na allergic yung bata dahil doon sa kinain ng nanay. Pero... Ano yan eh, ang gatas kasi ng tao para sa tao. Bibihira po yung pagkakataon na mag allergy ang isang baby sa gatas ng kanyang nanay. Bihira yun ang pagkakataon. Kung saan ang bata musog na. Ayan. <laughs> So, kailangan din na maging pleasant, maging um, maganda yung ambience o kaya environment habang pinapakain yung mga bata para hindi sila napipilitan kumain. So, pag ganyan, uh, tinutulak na ng labi niya, uh, yun na yung ayaw na niyang kumain. Hindi mo na pwedeng pilitin kasi mas, uh, mas matutroma yung bata. So, yung water na niya, Namin na natin ang water. Again, sa unang anim na buwan, hindi na po kailangan ang tubig. Kailangan ang formula. Gatas lang ng nanay. I-observe din po natin kung magkakaroon po siya ng mga allergic reaction. Ayan, busog na. Ayaw na.